So I want to talk a little bit about how it's not all about the pancreas when it comes to type 2 diabetes because you're basically trying to get your blood sugar to be in control and there's more than just your pancreas spitting out insulin or having a problem spitting out insulin into your body to keep that blood sugar under control. Uh, there's a lot more that happens in the body and you have to have your adrenal glands checked and your liver checked. Um, the problem nowadays what we see though is that uh, most people don't understand that your liver, you store glycogen in your liver, which is converted over to glucose, blood sugar, the fuel we use. Um, and if you have problems with your liver that aren't checked early enough, then you can have definite issues with the conversion of glycogen to glucose and your blood sugar levels can be all over the place. Um, if you have a poor diet, if you drink alcohol uh, to excess, um, or if you're on medications, the wrong medications, um, or too much of a medication, that can cause problems with your liver. So you want to be very, very aware of that. The problem is, um, if your doctor is not looking at the range um, of problems with, from the blood standpoint in your liver, uh, if they're not looking at it from a functional standpoint, a lot of times you can miss problems. So we want to take those ranges, the lab normal ranges that are way out here, and narrow them down um, for enzymes in your liver to make sure that we don't wait until they get to a point where your liver is now screaming, help me, help me, help me. Uh, you want to look at those ranges before, look at it from a functional range and tighten those numbers down. And that's a problem we see over and over again in the medical community because they're looking at lab normal ranges. And we feel that those ranges a lot of times can be tightened down to show up problems early. So your liver needs to be functioning properly. Your adrenal glands need to be working. If you haven't had an adrenal stress index test yet, you better get one. Uh, because if your cortisol levels are out of control, that's the number one reason that insulin levels are through the roof because cortisol directly affects uh, blood sugar. And if your stress hormones are high, if cortisol levels are high, that's going to cause your insulin levels to be way off and eventually will burn out. Um, you know, your adrenal glands will get burnt out and you have problems that are just, you don't want that. Um, so basically, ideally, you want to stay off insulin. Your cells are becoming resistant to insulin. The last thing we want to do unless it's like emergency situation where you've really destroyed everything. Uh, then insulin can save your life, but we want to keep you from getting to the point where you need insulin because insulin is pro-inflammatory. And just ask uh, Brett Michaels. What does Brett Michaels do? Uh, Brett Michaels drinks alcohol all the time. He has type 1 diabetes. He needs those insulin levels to be normal. And what does he do? He beats the heck out of his liver. And if you look on the, in the literature, you go online, type in insulin and inflammation and cardiovascular events. Well, wow, Brett Michaels, lead singer of Poison, is not going to be around very long if he continues to drink alcohol the way he does because what is it? Insulin is pro-inflammatory and it leads to cardiovascular events. And what did he just have? In one of his arteries in his brain burst. It's basically what he had. And uh, cerebral vascular accidents. So if you have blood sugar issues, you need to look at the adrenals. You need to look at the liver. And basically, you need to get on a proper diet and uh, not let things go because it's uh, life or death. And right now, they say within you know, 10, 15 years, half the country is going to be diabetic. So uh, something you really want to be on top of. And there you go. Have a good day.